This season's off to a great start, and as I head into the blind, I thought I'd try out the new Weatherby 18i. Weatherby is well known for their stellar rifles, but this year they decided to release a new inertia-driven shotgun at a slightly higher price point than the Element that was released in 2016. Straight out of the box, you get five choke tubes. They come in a nice little carrying case, so you can take your chokes with you. The full choke is not meant for steel. The choke pattern is Cryo Plus, I believe is how you say it. So if you have a choke in that pattern, you should be good to go. Currently, there is really three different options when purchasing the 18i. The synthetic black has an MSRP of $10.99. Then there's the waterfowler in the Realtree or Mossy Oak pattern at an MSRP of $11.99. And last but not least, there's the Deluxe that looks really slick in my opinion and has an MSRP of $18.99. The Deluxe is currently the only one that comes in a 20 gauge and therefore the only one with an option for a 26 inch barrel. The others come with a 28 inch barrel and weigh in at about 7 pounds, which is just as good, if not better, than other shotguns in that price range. One thing to note, however, is that the Deluxe only takes 3 inch shells where the rest of the 18i family takes 3.5. So if you're planning to shoot some hefty rounds this year, keep that in mind. Each gun has a soft pad for your cheek and a pretty comfortable forearm. I like the look of the Deluxe, but I'm sure I'd scratch it up in the marsh, so I went with the synthetic black for personal use. I had the chance to shoot all three types this year for turkey season and now into waterfowl, and as far as my personal opinion goes, I'm a fan. As most of you know, I generally like inertia driven over gas anyway, but really, straight out of the box, it felt good to pull up, and if it doesn't feel natural for you, they send shims in the box so you can make it fit how you like. The site on the end is an LPA fiber site, which is actually a pretty spendy site that usually doesn't come stock, and the controls are good solid clicks, but aren't too firm. This assembly is pretty standard, just remove the end cap and the barrel slides out. The gun comes with a waterfowl plug installed and can take 4 plus 1 if it's removed. That's what I have, and hopefully it helps. If you're looking to pick up a new shotgun, definitely give this one a look at your local gun shop, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.